Right then. I've come down Canada Coombe, past the little cottage that's been renovated and it's looking bigger and less cottagey each time I see it. There's Western over there. I'm now doing, following a path, a little path up to the Hutton Woods now. I'll be skirting Hutton Woods. It's half past three. So if you think I got to, didn't really kick off till about midday with me walk from Banwell. I've probably had three and a half, four hours walking there. And I've got another hour, hour and a half. There's no panic. There's only a bus every hour. It's half past three, so I won't be getting the four o'clock. There's a five o'clock one, which I probably will want to get. Otherwise, I've got to hang around for two and a half hours here. And it won't take me two and a half hours. Unless I really wanted to. But that's all I'm going to say about that now. I don't particularly want to keep going on about it. And I don't particularly want to rush. So I know I've got time. So I'm not going to mention it again. Here we have Hutton Woods. Skirting Hutton Woods. A busy little bird twitter in there. I like coming, I do like coming through here uh, when it's the closing stages of a walk. A nice gentle walk through the woods. I've probably been walking since about. 12 o'clock, because I went in the church, don't forget, I was taking photos. So. By the time it kicked off, I was taking images of the pheasants, not pheasants, peacocks. Chatted to a few people, stopped to have me take some pictures from a lovely field, um, and had me orange aid, me Fanta. Yes, once I get up here, it's just a little bit more of a hill, just slight incline. That's all. You can see if you look down, I'm coming up. It'll be all flat and then downhill. I'll be going past the blonde ponies. Then down into the wood. Because I've done this wood all year round now. Very much. I've done it quite a lot. Throughout the Covid time I came used to walk to Hutton and back. When I couldn't get the bus I would come on, I would walk here. Different routes. And then I'd walk back as well. I only risked the bus a couple of times. And uh, it was near, I'd had the jabs and everything, and then, not long after that, they were letting people on anyway. I am quite, I am feeling quite hot. So I'm glad I'm in this wood. I've got wood protection now, for ages. Anyone who follows me will recognise these structures protecting the trees. Oh, that's a lovely tree, isn't it, that one? I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks, and take some pictures now. Up there would be the old vehicle that was tied up with whatever he do in fields. I'll take a picture of it in a minute. Over and out. 
Right, a little bit more videoing. Beautiful, beautiful wood, beautiful sorts of plants, loads of berries. Maybe not very big, but loads of new growth from these lovely hedgerows here. Little spider catching lots of little insects. Lovely trees. Everything growing in. I've never seen it so overgrown actually. I don't think maybe a lot of people don't come up here anymore. I don't know really. But look at all these lovely trees. I mean, I've got to find, start identifying the trees again. I know the oaks. I'm just wondering if that's an ash. I used to know all the trees years ago. <sighs> Sorry, I used to have a little child's book with all the trees in. I know you can go online. I'll do that. <sighs> a lot of these... Uh, wood thugs I call them, are using d ash dieback to actually destroy a lot of wood, even with healthy trees. What was that? Could have been a squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel jumping and leaping. Sort of place you'd expect to see a deer down there, isn't it? I bet there's loads of bats up here. Quite, it's nice to see it all lush like this actually. It's really nice. It's nice all year round this wood. I have been repairing the wall as well here. A bit at a time. It's all voluntary you see. When they can fit it in they'll do it. That's all new there look. I'll go over there in a minute because there's some gorgeous Thistle flowers out over there, a big bunch of them. Look at this lovely wild field here. That's been left, hasn't it? It's all good stuff, you know. Yeah, look at this. Look at this wall. Yeah, they're all doing very well here. Very well. Let's just go in there a minute. They've obviously cut this tree down, but it might have had a disease. Look, look at this wall. And then straight in front of me, there's a lovely big bunch of thistle flowers, I think they are. Let's go straight into it. Oh, it's going to play up the camera. It does that when it gets overheated. Look at that. All got their feathers, all their little furry pollen things. Hmm. I've walked across this field. So they've done all this, done all this here. Yeah. yeah, I walked further up and across to a gate. It's one of the walks I do sometimes. It's a lovely wall. Let me take pictures. Right, back on. Took more photos of the wall repairs. Natural stone walls being done by someone still learning the craft or in fact, to chop a tree down. I expect they'd do the whole lot. <clears throat> Somebody must be paying for it. <clears throat> so here we are, walking through this wood that I've walked through. Many, many times over the past year, over the past two years. Yeah. Lovely views from the wood, from the edge of the wood. Wild meadows, with lots of habitat for animals. And these beautiful trees, these beautiful trees that 
even look strange in the winter. <sighs> Variety of trees. Scrawny ones, big ones. Look at that lovely oak there. Isn't that grand? And behind it you've got the wild, the field. Left fallow this year. No, no animals out this year. It's nice and cool. And of course in the winter, if there's a fierce wind or heavy rain, or no rain but just windy, you get shelter here when you walk through this bit. You get lots of shelter. Look at that little plant, little flower. I've met loads of you. You're standing alone at the moment. And once again, lots of bluebells were here earlier in the year. I don't like coming over too much. I had to do a manual walk today. But I really like to keep this, really, for when I can't get further afield. But I suppose it's a bit like today, really. Um, I, I've, I've got plans, but the weather, every time I make a plan to go back to the Quantox, before the, the, the nights draw in, um, there's always forecasts of thunder and lightning, and I won't go near the big hills when it's like that. And then it's, we find out there ain't been any, and it's been up north. I put out these warnings, scaring everyone, and nobody goes out. They all come to Weston, though. The, fi the seagulls love it in the summer. All those ice creams, chips, pies. They get fed. Buns. Cake. Yeah, Western seagulls are big, plump things. They love living here. There's something creepy about this wood as well, actually. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's just something about it because it looks so quiet and innocent. And I don't know. Anyway, I'll be up to the gate in a minute. I need to turn off again. Lots of short videos, folks.